What's up everybody, welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming, Ladies 2 Revolution on your screen today. We have a Fortress Siege, number 35 in the series, Anorexi versus Demigod. Last week, no Fortress Siege, it happens. Hopefully we don't see this happen too often post-merge, but it's going to happen, and I get that. Last week was also my birthday, so that was a, a little impromptu birthday gift, and I appreciate that, but I'm ready to get right back into it. And that's what we've got going on today. Two weeks ago, I think, before maybe three weeks ago, Ataraxi and Demigods went at it. Ataraxi won that one by a lot. I saw a picture by one of my Discord members, and Ataraxi had won that battle by, it was like 162 seconds versus, what, two to three seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time. And Demigods is back for more punishment, it seems. So let's get into what is going on. All right, so there we have it. At the number two and the number three spots, Ataraxi, 212,676,108 combat power in totality for their clan. Demigods, 204,155,232 combat power in totality for their clan. I'm looking at over... 8 million combat power difference between the two clans. Of course, we know combat power doesn't mean anything. If this is going to be any kind of indication as to what happened a few weeks ago, Ataraxi definitely has the upper hand in this battle. So, let's take a look at what Demigods paid, and that is 3 million Adena flat. For an A-grade fortress, that is super cheap. This is like nothing. I can make that back in a few days off of 50 members donating max Adena. So this is, even if they lose this, it means virtually nothing. Because they paid nothing for it. Now, there are two real fights this week. This is one of them. The other one is this one. Eternal versus Rogue Squad. Eternal, part of the Heavens Clan, Rogue Squad, I think they're part of the... Actually, Rogue Squad is independent. And Rogue Squad paid 230 million Adena for the right to challenge Eternal for a B-grade fortress. That's a lot of Adena for a B-grade. Miss Solo will be recording this particular battle that you see in front of you. So I will leave a link down to her YouTube channel in the description below. And you can check out that battle after you're done... Checking out mine. Let us head into the battlefield. All right. A little less than three minutes before we begin. A Harden buff just went off. Atraxi in the blue on the top. The defenders. Demigods in the red on the bottom. The attackers. Now, normally I follow the attackers. However, I will not be doing that this time. I'm going to follow Atarax. I've never done this before. I don't know how this is going to work out. I hope that this doesn't jinx Ataraxi. This is what I plan to do. Two and a half minutes before we begin, and there's nobody here. So I will be back when people start to show up. And I'm back with one minute and 30 seconds left. I'm down here at Demigods looking for their leader. There is their leader running around too fast for me. There they are. Let's see if they'll stop moving. Uh, I guess not. They don't want to be identified. They're running back and forth. I'll try to get their name. Looked like it started with a D. Dem Hacks in a penguin suit. A lot of penguin suits. Going on around here. I think that says Dem Hacks. Stop moving there, freak! Haha. <laughs> they, they don't want to stop. Okay, well, 45 seconds. Let's head up, on up to Ataraxi. Good luck to Demigods. People need to learn to control their ADHD. Looking for the leader of Ataraxi. There they are. Looks like they just popped in. 10 seconds before we begin! Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fort Siege, number 35, Ataraxi versus Demigods. Both teams have begun imprinting their altars. Both teams interrupted. A little battle going on right here as Ataraxi looks like they are trying to make a push towards Demigods' non spawn gate. Johnny Feller, Ataraxi's leader. Ataraxi has pushed aside 
Both teams have gotten a 10% buff in the next 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Wow. 10% buff in the next 3 minutes. Uh, 10 minute buff. That would be awesome. This tower over here getting beat up. Halfway dead. Let's see how Demigods is doing over here. Doesn't look like they need nothing. They've done nothing. Ataraxi trying to push in and destroy this tower. And there goes that tower. This other one taking a beating now. And there goes the non-spawn gate of demigods. And there goes the spawn gate of Ataraxi. Interesting strategy there. Demigods trying to stop Ataraxi from coming into the non-spawn gate. Holding them at the choke point. A little over three minutes into this battle. Both teams still have the 10% buff. Both teams have taken out at least one gate. Demigods defending rather well. But it's early. A couple of Ataraxi got in. Looks like they were trying to work on that defense tower. Unable to do anything to it. And by the way, Ataraxi is part of the B3 Way Alliance. And Demigods is part of the Kings of Staris alliance with all four clans in that particular alliance. Both altars are almost up. Oh, there's a big battle going on here. Ataraxi interrupting demigods and still going for their own. Ataraxi over halfway interrupting demigods again. Ataraxi, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes. Demigods over halfway, but here comes Ataraxi. Demigods, oh, about a second before they were about to get it. They're trying again. Interrupted again. Ataraxi trying for demigods. Interrupted. The red team has started imprinting the holy demigods trying to get... Some holy artifact imprint time. They definitely got some there. Demigods over halfway. Interrupted. Two minutes left on Anorexis. 10% buff. We are five minutes into this battle. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Demigods. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The blue team's defense tower has been destroyed. The red team has been Demigods getting more Holy Artifact imprint time. And doing a good job of stopping Ataraxi for now. Based off the results of the last battle, Demigods are definitely 
the underdogs. But they are doing a good job in holding their own. However, red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Ataraxi ahead in the kill death department. Demigods going for their own altar right now. Demigods over halfway. Demigods three seconds, two seconds interrupted. Good interruption by Ataraxi. Trying to get that 30% buff, but only 40 seconds left on their 10%. Demigods trying again. Demigods over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Demigods for the next three minutes. Tables have turned a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen. Adorax with 15 seconds left on their altar imprint. Five seconds left on Adorax's altar imprint. The there goes Adoraxi trying to get some time. Six seconds before Adoraxi wins this battle. Two seconds. Oh, that happened again. I've seen this happen before. He must have lagged. I did talk to him about what, about this happening last time. And, it, and the last time this happened, they said that it was not a disconnect, but instead they had lagged out, but not actually disconnected. But if the game gives them time, I mean, that's a good 25 seconds right there or so. Had to actually managed to get the 10% buff for themselves. Demigods trying to play catch up. Not getting much there. Johnny Feller mixing it up with his clan mates. like the non-spawn gate of Ataraxi is down. Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Ataraxi is down. And the spawn gate of Demigods is still up. God's Altar Imprint, less than five seconds. The Altar of Wind has been reset. No one is going. Okay, Demigods tried to go for it, interrupted. Johnny Fella trying to make his way into Demigod's base. However, Adara Adaraxi has 20 seconds remaining of their altar imprint. Demigods going for their own over halfway. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. Demigods 10% buff in the next three minutes. There goes the defense tower of Demigods spawn gate. Adaraxi trying to go for their own altar imprint now. Interrupted. Tried again. Interrupted. Trying and in getting interrupted. Trying and getting interrupted. Demigods going for Ataraxes. Trying to turn the tables here. 
19 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. Demigods over halfway on Ataraxes. Demigods, three seconds, two seconds, interrupted. Ataraxes going for their own. There goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Ataraxy. Big battle going on here for Ataraxy's Alter Imprint right now. There goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Demigods. Still a big battle for Ataraxy's Alter Imprint, which they almost got. Interrupted, though. Ataraxy trying again over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff. The next three minutes for Ataraxy, while Demigods only has one minute and 15 seconds left of their 10% buff. Little touch and go there for Ataraxy for a second. Demigods trying to go for more time. Demigods got five seconds already. Wow, they got a good seven or eight seconds there on that one. Demigods definitely putting up a better fight this time around, it seems. Trying to keep it close in the Holy Artifact imprint time. Demigods, 10 seconds remaining on their Alter Imprint. The altar of wind 17 minutes remaining in this battle. Ataraxy, trying for that 30% buff. The red team has started imprinting Demigods, trying for more Holy Artifact Imprint time. Ataraxy, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute and 20 seconds. Let's see what Ataraxy can do with this 30% buff. They only have it for the next 60 seconds. And here they come. There is their leader, Johnny Feller. But Demigods is here. Johnny Feller trying to get some time. Not a lot. 30 seconds remaining. And Anorexy's 30% buff. Wow, he got a 20 kill streak in Fortress Siege. That's very rare to see. And there is the man in question right there. Looks like they were killed, or he ran away, one of the two. Here comes Johnny Feller again. Demigod's doing a good job defending. There goes 30% buff. Ataraxy interrupted. Trying again, interrupted. Demigods. The underdogs doing a great job here. We are over halfway in this battle. And Ataraxy is over halfway in their altar imprint. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next 60 seconds. Imprinting the 
Oh, he got it down to seven seconds. That's a lot of time for Edoraxi right now. Johnny Feller's back up again. But has died. He's back again, getting more time. Stunned. Pulls back. Waits for a few more of his people. He's got a clear path. More or less. He's trying again. He's getting a lot of time here right now. Eight seconds for Edorax, he wins this battle. More time. He pulls back. Waits for more of his people. Edoraxi must be leading in Holy Artifact imprint time. Edoraxi, 30% buff in the next one minute and 30 seconds. Demigods pushing out Ataraxi. But they are, they are, I won't say far behind, but they are definitely behind in Holy Artifact imprint time right now. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. Comes Adaraxi. They are in force. There's Johnny. Trying for more time. Stunned. Pulls back. Going for more time. Interrupted. And the killed. Ataraxi. Two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute, 10 seconds. Well, if anything, Demigods has definitely put up more of a fight this time around, from my understanding. Again, I'm simply basing this off of the pictures that I saw where they were absolutely crushed in Holy Artifact imprint time. I don't think they're getting crushed in this case, but they're definitely behind. And are actually coming in force this time. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. He's all by himself. This might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Sam is there trying, but failed. Two seconds, one second. Oh, again with one second remaining. Anaraxi failed to follow through. He's trying again, though. Ten minutes. Ten minutes remaining in this battle. Eight seconds remaining. Six seconds for Anaraxi wins this battle. Interrupted with four seconds remaining. Boy, that's got to be frustrating. But it doesn't really matter. They are definitely destroying them in Holy Artifact imprint time now. Imprint 
Johnny Phil, they're trying again. Eight seconds remaining. Six. Four seconds remaining. Oh, man. Boy, that is just... He's trying again. Oh, De Demigod's got it down to, se to ten seconds at least. And they're actually trying again. Six seconds. And interrupted. Back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. Anoraxi's got to have at least 90 seconds or so. Demigod's got it down to 15 seconds. Johnny, Johnny Fella trying again. This is back and forth. Eight seconds before Anoraxi wins. Five seconds remaining. Anoraxi failed. Trying again. Interrupted, but trying again. Interrupted. Demigods is trying to make this last. Can they stop Demigods from interrupting them? Four seconds remaining. Three, Two seconds. One, and congratulations to Adorexi for successfully defending their A-grade fortress. And congratula congratulations to Lausch. 111 kills and only 11 deaths. Taking the number one spot. Adorexi taking one through 14. And tying, well, no, well, they took one through 14 with the exception of number three. Satan took that. Here are your stats. Wow. Well, good fight by Demigods. It had to have been better than the last time. They definitely made it a fight. Back and forth, back and forth, but the Holy Artifact imprinting between the two clans. Crazy business. Got a few dashes on, on Demigod's side. And that, as I say, is the end of that. Not a bad fight. Let's see how Eternal did versus it must still be going. Okay, well, good luck to Eternal. I'm going to let Miss Solo handle that. That one is got to be a better fight than uh, the one I just did. But that wasn't a bad fight, however. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, like, and come hang out with me on Discord. All the information you need is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.